Welcome to Narayasai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discussing about a, one more new feature which was added in JDK 1.8 that is java.util.optional. It is one, a final class which is useful for avoiding the problems which we are going to face while executing the program like null pointer exception. In our application, sometimes we are going to face the problem like null pointer exceptions while working with the strings, while working with the wrapper, wrapper class objects, while working with the some other objects, we are facing the problem like what null pointer exception. To avoiding that null pointer exception in JDK 1.8, Java introducing the concept like uh, Java dot util dot optional. Yes, it was added in JDK 1.8. It is one public final class. So, it is not participated in inheritance. Next one, it is useful for avoiding null pointer exception java dot lang dot null pointer exception. Yes. Now, first I want to show you how to face null pointer exception and later I am going to show you how to avoid that problem by using optional class. A very simple observe here. Now, I am taking one string array. In the string array, I have let me take my string array size like 5. Now, I am adding some elements s of 0, s of 0 equal to ram, later s of 1 equal to s of 1 equal to sam. Good. Now, what I am doing here is simply I am writing one program like s of 2, s of uh, s of uh, 1 dot 2 uppercase. Then what happened? Happily, so small s a m will replace it with what here? Capital s a m. 2 uppercase will convert to lowercase to higher case or uppercase. Now, system dot out dot println s of 1 s of 1 dot let me take s of 2 dot 2 2 uppercase. Now, in this particular time what happen observe here. Now, we will get SAM as a output of the 7th line. We will get exception as a part of the what here 8th line. What is that exception? Java dot lang dot null pointer exception. Here we are going to face null pointer exception. Yes. So, when should we get null pointer exception? So, why we are getting null pointer exception? First, let me show you that yes of 2, yes of 2. In the yes of 2, I have value like what? Null. On top of the null referenced variable, null value reference variable, whatever it may be terminology. If you are calling any variable or if you are calling any method, we are going to face one exception like a java dot lang dot null pointer exception at runtime by JVM. Now, how can we overcome this problem? Very simple, observe here by using the concept like optional. Now, I am creating, I am creating optional class, optional which is going to hold a string data o equal to optional dot of nullable of nullable of what s of 2 what here s of 2 now observe guys here first i am checking o dot is present what of nullable method will do here it will create optional object with the given value what is that given value? First, let me go with uh, proper output. Later, we will go with what here 
null related values. S of 1, S of 1 is what here? SAM. That SAM value will go and place it into variable, optional O reference variable. Now, I am checking is O contain the SAM or not? Yes, is present, true. Now, what I am doing here, blindly without checking content is available in any variable or not, without checking content is available or not to print or to do some operation, first I am doing what here? Checking operation, if O dot is present, if O dot is present, then what I am doing? Value existed, value existed and what is that on top of the value? I am performing some operation, get, just I am reading that value, what is that value? O of get, what is that value? Same. So, on top of the same, are you going to perform any operation? So, if you want to do some operation, you can do that. What is that? O dot, O dot, get a dot, two, two uppercase, O dot, get a dot, two uppercase. Now, we are getting, yes, value existed. What is that value? Sam, we are doing some operation. Now, the same coding, if else, what I am writing here, else. I am writing like a system dot out dot print and value not existed, value not existed. Then what happen? In the S of 1, in the S of 1, we have a value that value placed into where? O. I am checking is value available in the O? How can we? Is present, it will return either true or false. If the value is present, it will return true. If the true means this line will be executing, otherwise it, this line will be executing. Now, what I am doing here is, in this particular time, in this particular time, I am copy this line and paste here, I am writing here like uh, S of 2, then in the S of 2, we do not have any value. So, automatically the null will be placed into where? O. Now, here I am checking, is O contains any value? No, value not existed. If you want to observe, you can observe here O, O. And if you print to O, what it will showing optional dot empty internally, optional in the optional class we have a two string method, the two string method will print whether the value is available or not. If the value is not available, empty, if the value is available, it will give you some output. For example, S of 1, now what happened? Value is available, that value printed. Now, here I am writing like what? S of 2, value is not available, then it will showing like what? Option of empty. So, here internally, two string method is overridden in the optional class. Now, O dot is present, whenever we writing like S of 2, in the S of 2, what we have? Null, null will be placed into O, where? O. Now, let me comment this line. Now, here I am checking, is O contains any value? No. Then, automatically control goes to where? Else. Is value existed? No. Then, what we are getting? value not existed output we are getting finally good. So, with the support of optional class we can able to check whether the content is available or not. So, once we checking the content is available or not and doing performance definitely we should avoid null pointer exceptions. So, we have some other methods also like of and empty or else and uh, different types of methods we have in the optional class, those methods we are going to see in separate video. I hope you understand the usage of the optional and the programming of related to optional class and do practicing on top of this uh, video and in the next video, I am going to introducing the methods related to optional. Thank you and for more videos, please subscribe to channel.